Hi, till now in all the programs what we have worked, we have used variables which were storing one value at a given instance. There are situations wherein we would like to hold multiple values at a given instance. So one way to do that is we can create multiple variables. The other way to do it is we can basically use data structure which can hold a collection of elements. Python provides various such kind of data structures like list, tuple, set and dictionary. In this session, we are going to learn the basics of list. A list is a data structure which is very similar to an array in C language. It basically holds a collection of elements. Now, the elements can be of the same type or it can also be of different types. That's the first difference. Second thing is the list is resizable, meaning we can add elements into a list and we can also remove elements from the list at the runtime. The list will increase its size or it will shrink the size as we keep adding the elements or we keep deleting the elements. Now let us try to see how do we create a list. In order to create a list, we just need to use a square braces. And inside the square braces, we can place the elements what you want separate with the comma operator like this way. This is basically a list what you have created. Now, let us try to collect this list into a reference variable. Now, let me just say this is just like marks. Now, you have already created a list here. Now, I'd like to know what is the data type of this particular object marks. So, I'd like to write print type of marks. Now, let's try to run the program. And you can just observe that it says that it is basically a list. Now, if you want to know the number of elements present in the list, it provides you a function called as len through which we can get to know the number of elements present in the list. So, let us try to learn the number of elements in the list. Print length of marks. So, length is the function which will give me the number of elements present in the list. So, let's run. So, you can just observe that we have three elements in the list. Now, as I said that we can have elements of numerical values, we can have elements of type string, we can also have elements which is of mixed data type. So here in this example, we have seen how do we create a list of integers. Now let me just try to create a list of strings. I'll say names equal to, let me just try to write Sikandar, Arun, Madhu, Nihad. It's a list of strings. Now, I'd like to know what is the type of names. It says it's a list. And after that, it basically length of names. There are four elements here. We expect the length to be four, right? Quite a simple one. We can also have list of mixed data type. So let me just try to take this. I'll say mixed type. Now I have string. Let me try to have some integer. Then again a string, some floating point value. Then okay, a string. Then I can just have some again numerical value out here. Right? Now this is mixed data type. Again, the type of this will again be list. And the number of elements what we have here is seven. Let's try to verify this. Right. Right guys. So we basically learned how do we create a list of integers, list of strings as well as list of mixed data type. We can also create a list without any elements. Now let me just try to remove all the elements from this particular object out here. Now, if you just put us empty square bracket, basically say that's an empty list and the length of an empty list is zero. Let's verify this. You can just observe the length of an empty list is zero. Fine. Thank you.